ensure the visor is closed and the top foam pad is removed from the helmet. Place the removable adhesive guide on the top center of the helmet so that the arrows are pointing toward the rear and the front is just touching the top of the visor. Using the vents as a guide, tape a piece of string to the center rear of the helmet, pull the string tight to the front vent and mark the center on the removable template as shown. Place the drill jig on the helmet so the middle hole is facing forward and aligned with the mark you just made. The jig should be touching the line on the removable template for proper placement. Using the 13 64 inch bit, drill the center hole. Place a bolt in the hole to keep it aligned while you drill the next hole. Using the same bit, drill one of the side holes. Place a bolt in the second hole you just drilled. Drill the third and last hole. You can now remove the jig, bolts, and template. Using the 5 8 bit, enlarge the center hole. Be sure to use light pressure and take your time. If you press too hard, the bit will want to take a large bite and leave you with a poorly finished hole. It's now time to test fit your mount to your helmet. The mount should slide freely in and out of the mounting holes. If it does not, you will need to clean up the outer two holes with the smaller bit. It shouldn't take much. Angling the bit a little and rotating the drill should be sufficient. You should now be able to slide the mount in and out with two fingers. Better yet, if you tilt your helmet, the mount should just fall out. Use the grease packet to grease the locking pin. The more the better, but you don't need to make a mess, as long as the pin is completely coated. Never use grease not approved for use on ABS plastic. Also grease the inside of the locking collar and the outer portion of the locking lug. Testing the pin fit and embedding the grease into the locking collar is a good idea.
Place the mount on the top of the helmet, then turn it over and set the locking collar over the locking lug, making sure that the flat face of the collar faces down towards the bottom of the helmet and the curved surface of the locking collar faces towards the top of the helmet. Slightly peel back the liner on the side you want the handle on and slide the locking pin through until it touches the locking collar. Insert the pin into the locking collar and lug and slide it through until it hits the stop. You can now place the handle to your preference between the foam and the helmet. Use the provided Velcro for additional placement if needed. Use the small hex wrench provided to only snug the set screws in the locking collar. They only need to barely touch the helmet to keep the camera from shaking while in free fall too tight and the locking pin will be locked in place. After setting them, test that the locking pin still moves with only two fingers. You are now ready to mount your camera, but before you do we recommend a couple practice pulls just to test function and get used to the cutaway handle. <laughs> 